You are welcome to Nematology Laboratory, great uh, future scientist. Let's go inside and let's see what we are doing in this Nematology Laboratory. introduction about nematodes so that you know what we are doing in this laboratory. Nematodes are microscopic worms. It cannot be seen with naked eyes, only through microscopes, which means they have tiny worms that affect our plants. You can find them in the roots, and you can also find them in the soil. Now let me show you some of the symptoms of uh, nematodes, so that when you go to market, you will see that, oh, it's the nematode that caused this uh, infection. This, we call it gall tubers, caused by melodogynin incognita, which is one of uh, nematodes. You can see the knots around the tubers. And you can also see this also. These are galls caused by nematodes. And then let me show you clean tuber so that you're able to differentiate between invested tubers caused by nematodes and the uh, clean tubers. This is clean tubers, you can see. The difference is clear. Nematode also affects uh, plantain and banana. It affects all crops, just name it. Let me show you some of the equipment we use in this nematology laboratory. The first one, we call it uh, incubator. Incubator. Remember I told you that they are microscopic in nature and which means you can culture them in the laboratory if you don't want to culture them in the screen house. Let me open it so that you see some of the nematology works going on here. You can see, these are plates and inside the plates we have carrots. We want to multiply our nematode and we are using carrot to multiply nematode. These are compound microscopes. Remember, I said they are microscopic in nature. So if you want to view them, you have to use microscope. Another equipment we call is a wood chamber, or you can call it laminar flow. Remember, they are microscopic in nature, that is the nematode. And if you want to work in the laboratory, you want to culture the nematode, you have to do it under control environment. And this is wood chamber or laminar flow. You can see uh, works going on here. So let's go to our extraction room, where we set up the, the, the samples. Remember I said, you can find nematode in the root and in the soil. So let's go. Yeah. This place is called extraction room, where we put all our nematode extracted samples. Remember, we don't want to put them outside, where the nematode will die. We want to put them in a room where we'll be able to see our nematode later under the microscope. So after the extraction, we'll put our samples here. And later, if you're ready, you take it to the microscope table and you view your nematode. So let's go outside and let's see other equipment that we use in this nematology laboratory. Let's go.
This machine is called steam sterilizer machine. We use it to sterilize soil in order to kill some microorganisms in the soil and to reduce the weed infestation or weed seeds in the soil. We have screen houses where we screen for all IIT mandate crops for nematode resistance, tolerance, or susceptibility. We have some common nematodes that affect crops, namely Pratilenco species, Helicotileco species, Melodogynin species, Scutellonema bradis, just to mention few. These are some of the activities we carry out in this nematology laboratory. Thanks for coming.